All right, let's talk about heart rates that they never really explain to you in nursing school and when you should worry about them. First off, let's say we have a heart rate of 120 with a fever. This is actually expected. The body is compensating, but a heart rate of 120 with low blood pressure, this is actually a perfusion problem until proven otherwise. Next up, heart rate of 50 in a young athletic patient, usually normal, but a heart rate of 50 with dizziness, confusion, or chest pain, this is symptomatic bradycardia and this needs attention right away. Heart rate trending up slowly over a few hours, this is your early warning sign of sepsis, bleeding, or dehydration. Trends matter more than a single number. Now, a heart rate of 90. People ignore this one because it looks fine, but if your patient is pale, sweaty, or short of breath, that 90 might be their compensating heart rate. And here's the big one. Any heart rate that doesn't match the clinical picture, I want you to worry. <laughs> if the number looks normal, but the patient doesn't, trust the patient, not the monitor. Your assessment matters more than the heart rate itself. The body is giving you hints long before the vitals start crashing. 